don't buy expensive equipment. Um, I got in another conversation relating to that today. Um, because other people are saying, oh, buy equipment, buy equipment. You don't know what you're going to film yet. You don't know what people actually want to see. I mean, some of the videos I did years ago um, are randomly still watched. And they were on the worst camera possible. It's content that's important. Learn how to edit software. Don't buy software. Um, what you need to do is get your head around what you've got available now, what's available in your hands, what camera, what software is on your machine. Learn that first before you go and waste money on things like, say, Sony Vegas, um, Camtasia, what I use, or anything else. Because I was using Movie Maker, um, but I've used Camtasia because I find it works better with my machine. It's better for editing and things like that. But that's my personal preference. You don't even know what the software does yet. So before you go and invest in anything, start with the basics. Now, this video is more to do with finding channels that um, you can work with. If you're doing this for finance, finances, um, you're in the wrong job, should we say, in the wrong hobby. Um, because getting these channels off the ground takes a lot of effort and you're much better off just doing it as a hobby because what will happen over a period of time the money will slowly come up anyway um, but it's all about doing the quality uh, rather than quantity although quantity some companies have made money in the past but it's going to become harder over time to just keep churning stuff so where are we going today well I'm going to show you how you can see how much a YouTube channel is earning, but also, more importantly, you can see how much this channel is increasing. So you can see how that channel actually works, because what you can do, you can see it's steadily increasing over a month or a couple of months or the last year. And then you can review the videos yourself and think, okay, is it the editing? What are they doing right? What is getting people interested in what they're producing? So here I am, I've done, I've done a random search of sausages. Say I'm doing a niche on sausages. Um, you could be like cooking sausages, making sausages, whatever whatever you're doing. Um, it could be Philippines expert. It doesn't really matter. You're looking for other people in the same niche. This is why you're using the keywords. You're not here to do keyword keyword research. You're looking for relevant channels in your, in your um, niche. So... Let's just take sausage manufacturing. So we're going to CBS Food Tech. I want to make sure the video doesn't auto play. Okay, it's not going to auto play. So I want to copy that. And over here, this socialblade.com, you can enter URLs over here. Press enter. And we know it's CBS Food Tech. Which one is it? So the one with the blue, yeah, it's the one with the blue logo. So we know it's that one. And when it loads up, oh, they don't actually charge anything for their video. Okay, so we picked a bad one there. Well done. Go back then. So you'll get stuff like that that happens. But then we'll go, okay, we'll go to Greg's Kitchen now. Just press, I don't want him actually playing. Copy his channel, because he's still in the same niche. You might want to do this with a few until you actually find one you're interested in looking at their videos, because some of it may be relevant, some may not. Okay, we're now in Greg's kitchen. Now hopefully he's got a bit more data. Okay, here we go. So you've got all the information on him. He's grade B, his subscriber rank, his video rank. Social Blade rank, subscribers have dropped by 54% in the last month. Uh, but that could be anything that's doing that. And his views is going up. So you can see he's still got a fair bit of views. Um, what he makes per month, what he makes per year. These are estimates. Don't take them as gospel. What I'm interested in when I look at these things is more to do with the increase in views. So he's, he's averaging about 15,000 views a day. So he'd be quite an interesting channel. Because he's, you know, he's slowly climbing up, as you can see. So 
his subscribers have shot up here as well. So he's done something there which is working really well. You know, maybe he's offering a free pizza kit or something, free sausage kit or something. Something really spiked his subscribers. So these are the sort of things you look at and then you go, okay, well, I want to follow this guy. And then you start analyzing his videos for the last month or so and follow it back and see how see how it's improved. What what's he doing different? Why is he getting that steady flow? And then you can start to understand where you need to be working from uh, for your own videos because analyzing other people that are already successful at doing it have a lot of good information already because you're actually learning from their um, mistakes because they've already made the mistakes and improved on them. And you could go back to their beginning and maybe even see the things change over a period of time and learn from them. And th this is why that social blade is quite good. Because you see in the first site, you could analyze it in without social blade. You, you look at that first video, it's had a lot of hits, but it looks like they don't do many uh, videos on that channel. Where this one, it's pretty obvious he does this on a regular basis. Um, what's his most popular? You know, it'll, it's just analyzing all the information. And I would do it with probably three to five sites to get a good understanding of what's working on your niche. Um, because that will give you something to say, right, that works, that doesn't work. You can see it. And that says equipment comes second, content comes first. So let's do a little bit of analysis. We'll just do it on Greg's Kitchen because it's so random. Um, like cookery is one of those things that has a huge following online anyway but I just want to go through this so you can see how we analyze a few bits and pieces to get an understanding of a that uh, progression but b also has he where's he improved why is it suddenly jumped you know a lot of it is nothing to do with um, amazing camera equipment or whatever most of the time is people steadily join your channel most of it is because you'll have every odd video one you know one in a hundred maybe that's fantastic that people are really interested in and you have no idea why and they suddenly start following it brings another 500 a thousand ten thousand followers overnight just because of something very random so, but let's just have a quick look at some of the stuff on this channel so you can get an idea what you can do when you're looking at other sites in your niche. Okay, the first thing I notice here is he's got 265 uploads, a lot of subscribers, a lot of viewings, and look at these numbers and then look at the earnings 109 to 109 euros to 1700 euros a month um i would say those vary depending on your niche as well um you need to research your keywords and what to make stuff on but you need the initial thing here is not money money should always be second third fourth down the list um you should be looking at doing it because you want to do it um looking at doing it because you like helping other people like sharing information those things are more important and they'll bring everything else to you you can see subscribers have actually gone down by 54 percent for the last 30 days but that could be anything so but let's have a look at his site at his channel sorry so you can see he's a chef from australia um i'm not sure if he's a professional chef or not but some of these are pretty basic recipes, but let's have a look. Going back to uh, videos, because this is where you can see some progression changes. Because you might have found that his first videos are completely different. There's it, uploads will be all of his videos, and we want them oldest to new. Now, the first thing you notice, where's his face? His face is not in any of these, his first videos. So one of the first things you'll, you'll know, if we go the other way around, is his face is in food a lot more regular. 
Um, so that's one of the things, it's a slight change. Um, but also, what recipes are you going for? What's Has the wording changed? Um, has he been looking for specific keywords? You know, like custard, how to make custard. Maybe a big thing online. Because um, these oldest ones are probably not as popular. There you go, that's only 14,500 viewings since four years. That's his first video. But then when you go over here, Easy Thai Green Curry, it's 122,000. So you can see where you're going to pick up some extra readers, uh, viewers, purely on analysing what's actually worked. You know, just by analysing other people's channels to get an idea, A, that... It is extremely random. Look, Spanish omelette, 102,000. Making tacos, less than 19,000. And you start going, hang on, well, why is... Oh, yeah, chocolate fudge in microwave. So microwave cooking. Or is it chocolate fudge that's actually given a lot of views? All these sort of things are just a bit of analysis to understand where things are going right and where things are going... Well, not wrong, not as good. Because there is no wrong. You, you, you're on a learning curve. There you go. How do you se separate an egg white uh, an egg white from a yolk? Crazy amount of 1.3 million. KFC fried chicken recipe. Potato chips. Thing. You can see everything can be diagnosed. And I'm not saying just copy what everything he's done. That's not what we're doing this for. It's to actually analyze what is going right for him. What is he doing right? So you want to view some of these videos. What's changed between the first ones and the last ones to get a feel of what you can do to improve your video quality before you even start making your first yeah. one.